This is an instruction set on how to make a ping pong mini ball gun. We started with a leaf blower. Ours is a uh, weed eater ground sweeper. It's an older model, but uh, it'll work for anything. You can take almost any leaf blower and alternate the plans and uh, work it out. These are just going to be the basics for what we have. So we're going to have uh, we're going to show you what we use to build it, and you can change your plans accordingly. This is our first phase in which we gather all the tools necessary. First, one of the main things you need, the harder things to find, is a uh, drill. Any home drill will work. You need the uh, drill bits and an assortment because for different sizes uh, of leaf blower you might need a different size uh, drill bit. You need a measuring tape. We used our measuring tape in order to measure our ping pong ball thickness and our hopper thickness to determine planning and other things like that. You need safety glasses, just in case anything can get up into your eyes. A utility knife for miscellaneous cutting of uh, tape and um, anything other than that. A sharpie to make marks for planning and to uh, do accurate cutting. For us, we needed a uh, Phillips head screwdriver in order to disassemble some of the screws on ours. Different leaf blowers have dip different uh, bolts, nuts, star bits, things like that. A ball peen hammer. This was a more miscellaneous tool. We used this to knock out our cut after it was uh, mostly cut through. You, we needed wire mesh in order to make a backstop for our ball. In addition, we needed wire cutters to cut the mesh. And, of course, ping pong balls. Duct tape to uh, stop airflow. And an extension cord or gas for whichever kind of leaf blower you have. This phase is the uh, preparation phase. It's the second phase we're going to be doing. We started by pulling apart our leaf blower <laughs> and judging what uh, items we had. This comes into play. We need our uh, Phillips head screwdriver. Undo the uh, bracket up front. And remove the, <clears throat> remove the barrel. We looked inside and determined that uh, with this type of leaf blower, we're going to have to alter the plans that we originally uh, sought out. We're going to have to put the uh, hopper closer, as you can see, we're going to have to put the hopper uh, on the barrel itself rather than on the leaf blower because we have an, an inner fin inside. I'm not sure if you're able to see that. But uh, that's the uh, basic preparation phase. In this phase, we're preparing the uh, barrel insulation. We started by uh, recognizing the fact during our planning phase that this accessory here fits perfectly for the ping pong balls so we do not have to find a hopper. After that, we took the uh, barrel that we were going to use, laid it onto our, uh, or the accessory hopper, laid it onto our barrel, took our sharp sharpie and outlined it. That gave us an, a general idea of the size of hole we were going to need. We then took the drill, about a 11 16 size bit, and we uh, drilled circular holes due to the fact that we didn't have a hole saw. But at the same time, this will work out. Like I said, a, this is a general plan. After that, we used a serrated blade to cut open the hole to about the size of the barrel assembly, like you can see. And then once we did that, we had to make sure our, the balls wouldn't go back into the uh, fin apparatus in the uh, leaf blower. So we took our drill again with a smaller bit. And this time, we drilled uh, approximately four holes around the outside of our barrel and took our wire, along with our wire trimmers, cut off short extensions of wire and made a uh, mesh backstop for the balls so they wouldn't go into the back of our barrel. And that's the uh, basics between our uh, leaf blower and our barrel assembly. In this phase, we have everything prepared. We just have to take and set it up. We already have our hole cut. We have our grid put in, like we had talked about. All we have to do now is apply everything we've already done. We're putting together the barrel by just re-doing the steps that you had done earlier in the opposite order, obviously. Taking our hopper, putting it into our uh, hole that we had cut earlier, and uh, taking our predetermined strips to the thickness that we need and uh, applying them around the uh, hopper to create an airtight seal. 
this is an important step because if it is not an airtight seal, you won't have a consistency with your uh, hopper and your balls coming down through it. So apply as much duct tape as needed to uh, stop the airflow. For us, we found it'd be uh, approximately four of the strips that you'd seen cut earlier works nicely. And uh, that's our final product. This is the shoot your friend phase. We start by obviously plugging in your leaf blower into the wall and into the back of your leaf blower or filling it with gas, whichever you end up doing. Then we load our hopper. Then, once it's full, you can turn on your leaf blower and shoot your friends.